there is some other thing that makes us survive in an incredible way, and that's the sixth dimension, and that's purpose and meaning. I listened to a clinical psychologist who actually said it is more important to identify your purpose and meaning than to seek to be happy. When you focus on discovering your meaning, your, your, your purpose and living a meaningful life to the highest degree that you can, you find out that happiness comes forth. Because when you do what you love, and when you know exactly that you have a purpose, and you remind yourself of that purpose, and you remind yourself of the reasons why you should keep living. So think about your life goals, think about your achievements, what you want to achieve, think about your legacy, think about all of that and be strong. Purpose and meaning has a way of making you resilient. You can, you can skip through mountains if you are able to remember and move with your purpose and your destiny and your mission. So I encourage you to, to take time as you're building your resiliency plan to include what is your, your purpose, your mission. You know, do it in such a way that you can be sure you are living your full life, you know, and, and producing the highest net value you can, you can release to the world, you know, and that makes you not only a better person, but it makes you someone who is contributing positively. And that can make you strong. That can give you a reason to live. Um, I really related to your your plan about coming up with coming up with a resiliency plan. I find that very interesting because um, drawing from that, I think it's uh, you can founders such as ourselves can take that forward a bit more and coming and come up with an agenda for themselves, like a a schedule in a way. For instance, saying that um, I am going to spend one hour a day doing something that is equal to self-care and if there's anything that comes into that time that seeps into that time i will say no because i think a lot of uh, young founders who are attending this panel will be able to relate to this that the fact that they're founders itself means that they are they're achieving things they are putting themselves through a lot in order to attain a certain goal so creating that agenda beforehand and saying that knowing when to say no uh, might be an effective goal or an effective way to ensure that you take out time for self-care, that you are taking care of yourselves. Because like you said, Freddie, um, you can only take care for, of others if you care for yourself. 